Hello, I'm ABX Toycat and welcome back to Q&A Saturday. This is a weekly series I run on my channel where I answer your questions about the next big update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. I think it's going to be called Tile Update 25 now. That's looking almost confirmed. But regardless, I'm answering your questions about the next big update, whatever it's called, uh, based on what we know so far from 4J and just, you know, from previous updates in general. So uh, I'm answering these questions from last week's comment sections. If you want to leave any for this uh, for next week, leave them in the comments down below and they might just show up in next week's video. Either way, please do like the video if you do like it helps out the channel a lot and let's get straight into this for the first question which comes in from silver gaming who has a mushroom and a suit for an avatar very nice uh, who asks hashtag q a by the way you don't need to do hashtag q a why haven't we gotten any news recently we haven't even got a single screenshot and this was before i guess uh, you know the uh classic crafting hint we got yesterday but besides that we haven't had anything in a very long time like before that we had like the working on something big like over a month and a half ago and the reason i think that we have radio silence from 4j i don't think it's like they just want to ignore the community i don't think they which, uh, like want to do that I think there's three possibilities either that the first two are very unlikely so I think it's the third but the first one is they're working on something entirely different like Minecraft for you know the 3DS something ridiculous like that Second of all, uh, they could be working on an update they're going to release as a surprise. They could just be like, hey, it's coming out next week. As much as I'd love that option, I really don't think they're going to do that again. The Christmas update was cool, but even then we got screenshots. And then third of all, I think the most likely possibility is they're working on a really big update. You know, for the last five months they've been working on it. And, you know, there might be another month or two to go. They might not know how far they're going with this. And they want to get people to hype bef just before it comes out, not three or four months before it comes out. So, yeah, I think it's, you know, I think uh, at some point this summer is still a very likely release date. But I I think they're going to wait until closer to when they know they're releasing it till you know they actually start to give us stuff because you know it, it, all the hype and stuff it's good in some ways but if you've been, if you've been hyped for three months then you're kind of numb to the features before they come out maybe they're going to go for like a one month of hype then release it thing it's it's hard to see uh but yeah this summer i would definitely imagine anyway let's move on to another question shall we rather than talking about the lack of news um by the way because of the lack of news i'm not gonna be talking too much about like updates on 1.8 features being likely because it's really hard to say about that sort of stuff because we just haven't had any Anything. But yeah, second question comes in from Chaos Knight Five Seven Three, who asks hashtag Q and A. Toy Cat, when will 4J stop supporting the 360 and the PS3? And this is a pretty good question, and it's one I kind of uh, think about a lot, because, you know, as soon as they do ditch the 360 and the PS3, as bad as it is for everyone on those consoles, it is a slight step up for the Xbox One and PS4, because it makes it easier to develop stuff. However, I don't think that they're going to stop uh, supporting the 360 or PS3 anytime soon, and the reason behind that is that even now, uh, you know, Minecraft Xbox, you know, between the Xbox One and the 360, it's sold 20 million copies. I want to say out of that, something like 16, 17 million are on the uh, the 360, uh, out of the PS3 and the PS4, it's a little better, like it's like almost like 60-40, but still, the ratio the ratio of last gen to current gen is way, way off. There's no point stopping developing a game if most players are playing on something you're not developing. So as long as they reasonably can, I imagine they're going to keep on going with the uh, last gen consoles. If, if I had to give you a rough guess, I'd say maybe a few years maybe it's hard to really be specific on this sort of thing but i think the next update is guaranteed not to be 360 or ps3 exclusive even the one after that probably even the one after that like until the numbers really start to favor the xbox on the ps4 and it just makes sense to switch then i don't imagine they're just going to switch for the sake of it so good news for everyone on the 360 and the ps3 and since i still do play there good news for me too by the way this is let's play gameplay from my 360 let's play in the background uh, i think i'm doing something with the the Neverportly uh, gold farm stuff anyway let's move on to the next question which comes in from Gerast, who asks, hashtag Q&A, do you think it will ever be possible to manually combine sections of exist uh, pre-existing skins such as legs, torso, head, etc.? Any news on this? So this is this and, you know, the splicing texture packs together is something a lot of people always, you know, kind of uh, mention, and it's something you can do on the PC quite easily, yes, but on the consoles, it would be quite a bit more difficult, and I don't think we'll be seeing this anytime soon, like maybe in the far future when they're just adding stuff for giggles, but I think this isn't a key feature for the game for quite a few reasons, because first of all, um, they have licensing issues this is the big one in my opinion because if you think of stuff like the marvel skin pack you know there's like three of them the doctor who skin packs the simpsons skin packs all these licensed ones of any form they, even the other characters like you gotta think like conquer etc they're all licensed to be in the game under specific terms and if you put you know conquer's head on or you know uh, like homer simpson's body that's kind of bad for both those characters you could argue it's misuse of their product there's some really weird licensing issues so even if you exclude that if you say okay so you can only do it on skins that aren't licensed one that's most of the skins gone 
And two, uh, you know, it means they have a relicense, or it means that you've got a really big problem and it's only some of your skins. But after that, the next big issue they have to overcome is the fact that this would be a really complex procedure. You have to be like, okay, so I want the tails from this skin, this guy. Uh, I want the, you know, the, the body from this guy, the arms from this guy, the head from this guy, and then the extra body part, because, you know, some characters have capes, etc., from this. And maybe, I, I would like the idea of this. I'd like to add a cape to my skin. That's really all I'd really do of it. But I think, in general, there's a lot of work to be done, and there's not too much payoff, and there's you know, licensing issues even then. So, I don't imagine this will come too soon, but maybe at some point in the future. Uh, that and texture packs, maybe, you know, that the sort of thing where they add a lot of content by not really doing too much once they've got more stuff to work with. So, uh, next up, we have a question from Wyatt Henderson, who has a lovely uh, mountain, I think that is, in his picture, who says, Toy Cat, what will happen when Minecraft hits 2.0 on the PC after 1.9? Or, or will it be 1.10? Uh, this is a pretty good question, and this is one that I thought about myself, and I was like, actually, that's a good question. And there's two ways they can do this. Uh, the, the reason they step from 1.9, uh, sorry, from 1.8 to uh, 1.0 on the PC, which is confusing by the way, is because, you know, they went from beta to full release. This time, there's no real next step. So they'd have to go to 2.0 or 1.10. And I think 1.10 is most likely because the Pocket Edition, developed by the same dudes, or, you know, there's a crossover between the dudes. I think the Pocket Edition went to uh, 0.10, 0.11, etc. I think that's what the PC will do until they make the big revolutionary update, where it's literally, uh, you know, where, like, they change it to the C hash, or C sharp, sorry, and they make a lot of changes to the game that really, like, re reinvent it. And you could argue 1.10 Point nine is almost that, but it's not going to be quite. They they never spend so long developing it that I don't think they'll do an up like like that. I think we'll see Minecraft one point twelve in you know two years time. But you know that's just my opinion. It could change. We we don't really know. But that's just uh, how I think that's going to go. Next question comes in from SCS one 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 five six three two zero who asks uh, and nice American flag. What it's it's slightly out of crop. But yeah, why you no have sand for sugarcane? And this is one I wanted to address because this is a really common like myth in Minecraft uh, that uh, sugarcane grows faster on sand. That is indeed a myth. It grows exactly the same speed regardless of what you put it on. So, pro tip for life right there. Sand's kind of awkward and you know, dirt's just so much easier to get. There's just there's like almost infinite amounts of it in that big. Anyway, next question is also about my sugarcane farm and uh, it comes in from Michael Kudre who, Kudret? Kudret? Uh, I'm sorry. Who asks, what is the point of a sugarcane farm that big? I finished my enchantment table then I'm done with it. And you know what? That's how I used to, actually I've never been like that. Sugarcane farming has just always been one of my strange passions in Minecraft. I don't know like it's, it's one of the most simple things to farm and I was like, okay, so it's so simple to farm, let's make it complex to farm. So I have this insane bedrock to, you know, Sky Height uh, Sugarcane Farm, and there's no good reason for it. I mentioned this a lot, but it just it's just I figured I'd do it. So, you know, the, the question of why not comes up, and there's no good answer to why not. So, next question comes in from Dominic Williams, who asks, will there ever be a jump boost potion? The answer is definitely yes. Uh, they're technically workable in the code right now through mods. Uh, in the next update, they might be coming if it includes 1.8, and even if it's not, they might be coming to the creative inventory and, uh, you know, even through modding. It, I, I think the creative inventory, but not the game itself, is very likely. Uh, so yeah, jump boost potion looking very likely, but it's hard to say more than that. Next question comes in from Nine Mud Crabs, who asks to Tomcat, will there be something special on console. I assume you mean Toy Cat, because otherwise this is the wrong Q&A. Uh, but will there be something special only for console? Uh, I've actually made a video about, you know, console exclusive features that will go up at some point in the next few days, but there is actually quite a few console exclusives, and this update might be the one that starts a lot more, because that classic crafting, manual crafting switch, again, that's a console exclusive. Uh, you know, llamas, even if they're not definitely coming, that's a hint at something, you know, console exclusive. I think there's quite a few hints they're making, and I think, you know, console exclusives are the way forward. If they want, if Microsoft want to make the console version, you know, competing of the PC, so that lots of people buy Xboxes just for it in some way, or something like that, then I think a very key thing is to make sure the console version has its exclusives. So, yeah, that's uh, my answer. They, they, there's probably going to be at least something, you know, besides manual crafting, uh, just for the consoles. Next up, uh, next question comes in from Kyoyoruzen18, uh, who I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name. Hashtag Q&A. Do you still enjoy playing Minecraft as much as when you first started? And also, what are some future goals for your channel? So, honestly, uh, you know, I'm not going to try and do the diplomatic thing of, like, I love it 12 times as much as when I started and something like that. But, uh, I uh, like, the default vanilla survival, I don't play it for as many, like, I used to just play for 12 hours at a time, like, you know, I'd be up till the early hours in the morning. Now, I kind of resist the urge to, you know, abuse hygiene and everything to play Minecraft, but I do still, like, get the, you know, the craving to play Minecraft, I don't, and there's, it's just always about doing new things in Minecraft, like, you can't just do the exact, like, you know, I, I, st I don't get that much fun from mining diamonds that much anymore, unless I'm listening to a podcast, but when it comes to, like, something like, you know, uh, 
doing the Lucky Block Skyers, doing that modded survival I did on the stream on Thursday, doing weird different things I still do very much enjoy. It's all about mixing things up with Minecraft. That's how I keep myself enjoying it. And that's why I make this channel, because hopefully some of the things I've, uh, I point out are like, oh, yeah, I, I do enjoy Minecraft. Anyway, next question comes in from Violetta UK. Who asks, where are you from? And the answer to this question is... Because uh, I realise my, my accent isn't, like, distinguishing enough. Like, it's British-ish, kind of. But not even then. It's not even from, like, a distinct part of the UK. But yeah, I am from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Also known as the UK. I'm from England in particular. And then, for, even more particular than that, I'm from Bedfordshire, East Anglia. Like the, the, like, the UK has this, like, hump. Like, a pregnant baby pointing out. I'm, I'm kind of from that little hump. But, like, nowhere near the actual edge of the hump. I hope that will descriptive maybe i'll put a map on screen maybe i won't we'll see but uh yeah i hope you did enjoy the video uh please do like it if you did like it share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here i do videos like this every single day on my homepage, and if you subscribe you'll see them daily on that wait did i say all that right i think i messed up some words but even if i did this 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 was so beautiful i have to leave it so i'm gonna have to uh go to the outro now i hope you do enjoy it and i'll see you all in the next video Thank you.